What's going on guys, JCM here and welcome to my second FIFA 21 player review. So in today's video, as you already know, we're going to be reviewing the 80 rated Alain St. Maximin. Now he cost me around 42,000 coins when I did buy him originally. I think he's now around 20 to 30k, so he's dropped a decent amount in price. Um, you may think that's a lot for an 80 rated player, but when you look at the in-game stats, the nation and the league, it really does justify at that price. So he's got the 93 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, shooting there is okay I guess you know finishing isn't the greatest but I did have a chem style to improve at that finishing shot power really nice there um, passing again not the greatest and that crossing is very low for a winger but to be honest you're not really going to be crossing it too much um, with St. Maximum dribbling there absolutely insane um, stamina there 77 is decent but those dribbling stats you know 91 dribbling 82 composure 93 agility and 87 balance so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for 80 rated Saint Maximin. The first pro with this card was his acceleration. Now this one's probably pretty obvious with this card, you know, over 5 yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, 50 yards, it doesn't make a difference. This guy is all about the pace, um, acceleration, agility, you know, he can change direction quickly, he can sprint quickly, he can accelerate into space quickly, he's just everything to do with pace. And I think he is one of the quickest players on FIFA 20, I'd probably say, I'm sorry FIFA 21, I'm all, I keep getting mixed up between FIFA 20 and FIFA 21 because I'm so used to saying FIFA 20. Uh, but yeah, I think he's probably top 15 fastest players on FIFA um, this year what is pretty mad um, so yeah the acceleration really really good and you can definitely feel it in game um, so after that as I mentioned the agility so quick at performing skill moves I'd say probably the only player who's on par or maybe a tiny bit better um, at performing skills as a gold card is Neymar he's like 900k and um, the same maximum card is around 20 to 30k I believe um, he may be a bit cheaper if you're watching this later on in the year but around the start of FIFA um, right now he is around the 20 to 30k mark and then the next pro with this card was his movement now this guy is always making runs in behind and it is so um, effective when you put that with his pace you know he's running in behind defenders um, running into the space he, he, you know on FIFA 21 the three balls are so overpowered as well you can literally just play one three ball and you're in behind the defense so having someone with such a Saint Maximum with that pace with the skill moves with the agility you know just changing direction rapidly running into the space um, if you've got a player like Thiago who I have in my midfield you know just to play those balls through to Saint Maximum he will run onto them every single day and finish it off um, now moving into the cons so as I said just earlier the finishing isn't the greatest but to be honest in game it wasn't the worst in the world it doesn't feel like 67 finishing um, obviously I do have the chem style on him as well but it honestly isn't too bad I feel like a lot of the time um, he will finish off because he has really high shot power so his finishing doesn't really necessarily need to be the best um, but there are the odd occasion where he just absolutely fluff it all um, you know he looks like he's got two left feet but honestly most of the time you probably won't tell too much because his um, shot power is so good and then the final con with this card is his strength again to be expected with this card you know I'm not even sure if I can really put it down as a con because you don't really expect him to be strong anyway um, so yeah not too strong I think he's around 60 strength um, so you know it isn't the worst in the world I think Neymar is probably like 50 or 40 strength so he's not the weakest but um, he definitely isn't the strongest either so I would definitely say this guy is worth the 20 to 30k you know he is French he plays in the Premier League um, he is a left winger has some really nice stats and he also has that inform card as well who I do actually have now um, instead of the normal version he and he again you know is absolutely insane last year one of my favorite players along with Neymar so yeah absolutely love this guy um, just a really really good and fun player to use so definitely worth the coins you know if you're wondering if you want to buy him or maybe save a few coins and buy someone else in the Premier League but he's 100% worth it you know sometimes in foot champs you may get a little bit frustrated when he scuffs you know a big opportunity but you know he's only 20 to 30k if it was like 500k then maybe um you could say he's probably not worth it because of the lack of finishing um but you know you sort of have to expect that he isn't a cheap player but he is an expensive player he's sort of in the mid-range um you know sort of area at this stage of the game at least um so has the high low work rates and i do think this has a lot to do with his positioning and his movement you know he's always in the correct position always in the attacking half and always looking to move forward um he has the four star weak foot as well what is pretty pretty solid um, so you know isn't a five star weak foot but it is pretty decent and he can finish comfortably on that left foot especially with the shot power so when you throw on goal I probably wouldn't recommend taking the finesse shot so I'd only just honestly just you know smash it um, and just hope for the best rather than trying to put it 
into the corners. So now moving in to the overview for St. Maximin, on the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give him an 8.75 out of 10. Such a fun card to use, love him every year, well the past two years at least. Um, and yeah, if you just love one a fun card to use, then St. Maximin is that guy. Sadly, he doesn't have the Gucci headbands in game, but he would be sick if EA did add that. But I think for like legal reasons, um, they can't. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Again, it would be higher if the finishing was better, but apart from that, he is very solid. You know, when it comes to passing, um, it isn't the highest but his short pass is alright and does the job and he's not really expecting to cross with this sort of card he's expecting to run down a line cut inside or even move into a striker in game and when it comes to scaling probably the best cheapish cheapish scaler I'm going to call him he's not cheap but he's sort of cheap um, on FIFA 21 so yeah great at scaling smooth agile agility if this guy gets like a team of the season or like a high rated card he may be one of the greatest scalers ever um, I'm really enjoying FIFA 21 so far a lot more than FIFA 20 um, and I'm going to be trying to upload every single day in the month of November so expect 30 videos um, you know I may miss a day here and there but for the most part I'm going to be uploading every single day in November so overall we're going to give Alan St. Maximin an 8.5 out of 10 so guys, if you enjoyed this video, I want to see a brand new FIFA 21 tutorial or player review on my channel. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.